What up guys, this is J. Scott Ricosi. I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration of a feature that I used within Logic Pro in the last piece I did, uh, which is the ability to take a MIDI recording and to make it into an audio and then reverse that audio to get that cool reverse effect. So I've got myself set up with a Steinway piano here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick recording and then I'll teach you through all the steps of how I can take that recording and reverse it. So we'll go ahead and do a quick... All right, cool. So now what we can do is by simply right clicking, you go ahead and get this whole entire list of things you can do with it. One of these is called export as audio file. Clicking on that will take you to this lovely window where you can go ahead and title it however you want. And then you can select the format that you want it in and what bit rate you want it at. At this time, it will take about maybe 10 seconds for it to process and actually make the audio file. So during that time, I'll teach you another cool method that you can use to get some cool reverb sounds in reverse. So, with Logic Pro, there's a program called Space Designer, and so it's just your typical <laughs> reverb simulator. However, there's a cool feature here called Reverse, where it doesn't affect too much the audio, but affects the reverb that the audio makes. So, for example, we have this, and then we have this. So for this, I generally use this for more of my ambient recordings. Um, the last piece I used this feature on was, I believe, my Let Go piece. And so, so there's one of those little features that you can play around with. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and find that audio clip that we made. So Piano Reverse 3. Click and drag. You can put it wherever you want. Make sure you have an audio track set for it. And this is what it is. Cool. So now we have an audio format and we can go ahead and manipulate it however we want. By double clicking it, it takes us to the sample editor. And then to reverse it, simply press the functions, go down to reverse. And this is what it sounds like in reverse. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, go ahead and post them on uh, down below. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.